Hey guys, what's going on? Trying here today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 on the new Rolling Hills map. Now, this is a private map, so you guys can't. You guys can't see it yet. Um, yeah, this is our house. Well, not our house. We're going to make, create a house kind of like what Squad did, only he made a road. I'm going to make a road. It's going to come over, come down through here, and we're going to go along the edge of this field here. Go down, go straight down. There's going to be kind of like a hill. We have to cross through the water. Or, I don't know. I might I might just build like a, like instead of crossing the water, just like a bridge over. Just fill the waterway. I'm not sure yet. And then this will be like a nice flat spot to store our big machinery because we're going to be like doing big stuff on this map. We'll probably just buy the entire map or like most of the fields and harvest and plant them with some good cool mods that are kind of old school but they're kind of cool to see so I'm gonna go ahead and we will open up the shop and go to landscaping and we will let's see so we have all our tools right there and we have raise lower change radius now we want the biggest radius which is 20 and we're on sculpting, so we're gonna start up here. Which we might want to narrow that down. Okay, so we have flatten, and we have smooth. Wait, oh wait, yes, we have to buy the land first. So we'll go ahead and buy it. We'll buy that for two hundred nine thousand, and we'll buy that for seventy. And the reason I have eighty million is because I don't know how much it's gonna cost to do this land escaping thing it does cost a good amount to do and I'm just gonna kinda man that's a bigger brush let's just kinda add some there oh come on let me alright we'll just kinda make a rough edit here Maybe a little bigger. And then here, we're going to make this nice and level. Because see if we come across the bridge like that, or if we shrink it, like if we eat it away. Oh, we can't eat it away that much. Darn. So I guess we'll just build it up then. Let's build it straight across like that decent sized bridge we'll smooth it up smooth all this up and we're going to kind of cut into the bank a little bit come out with that kind of just we take that away maybe just to kind of give it some yeah I'm really chopping this up when we smooth, we'll get the big brush out. Because it does tend to. Easier to smooth things with a giant brush. And then up here, I don't know what we're going to do. Because this is basically on a cliff. I think we'll just try and split the difference and make it in levels. Actually, we have to leave this so we can get this tree cut. So we do have to do some tree removal. So I think we'll just go along this bank. Kind of like that. And yes, the trees are going to be hard to disappear. We're going to have to like... We've got to add that up some more. So yeah, I'm going to kind of mess with this. We'll see what we can do. How we can do it. And then we'll probably start buying stuff and moving into our new farm. Okay, so we kind of like, kind of got it done. I don't think we will uh, keep it very long. I just wanted to mess around with the tools and see. But we did this, and then also there's something over there that if we do this, we can fly up and see it. I just created a big old pad over there. I think we'll just park everything over there. And I have to buy, oh shoot, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna buy that field then. 
because I can't find like where I can build. I can't like build the road. Oh, now I can. So this will be like a slope right here that'll ease up here. Let's see, this has to come across and cover up the trees. And then we can build it up from there. And we'll probably just like, I don't know. We'll make it work. So we went ahead and made a driveway. Now the first thing we're gonna buy is a pickup to go drive around. Actually we're not. We're gonna buy the, this thing. We'll buy it. So this is going to be like a massive harvest. Massive tailgate full now. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Haven't really used this. Actually, I haven't drove one of these at all. But we are going to go up this ramp. And we're going to keep all of our harvest stuff and all of our uh, things up here. Now, this looks pretty smooth, except for the start of it. But we should. Oh, yeah, we can probably end up smoothing that out. Fine. There's just a big old jump at the beginning. But other than that, it's pretty smooth coming up here. Just can't hit it at 80 mile an hour. So this will be a big pad. We're gonna park everything here. That way we can just kind of park stuff, you know, in a way. Just like park it anywhere. So the first thing we're gonna do is buy combines. Now these combines this is the latest one I have it's pretty cool um it's a pretty good one this is made by JHHG modding and some other guys with him I'm not sure off the top of my head but we're gonna make the 710 duels and we're gonna make it have the first deal there we're gonna go ahead and buy that and we're gonna do another one probably three of them and then also we need heads for them so we got draper heads and last time I looked we're gonna buy one of these power flow heads because I want to see how they work and then of course we're gonna buy two more of these and then we should so the start sounds pretty good on and then let's see this is the power flow pretty sure so apparently this has belts. No, that doesn't look right. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, we're going to hook it up to it. Of course, it doesn't matter because it's an in game head anyway. So. so, in other words, you're supposed to be able to oh, I gotta unfold the harvester and kick it on. Oh, I see. It brings it up into the R. I see. So, that's the power flow. There's a belt. And then it goes up into the head. That's kind of neat. It's kind of going to be expensive, though. I'd rather just have a belt header. I think they'd feed fine. We're going to drive through the ditch because I didn't think I could turn and fit in that. I was going to make the driveway right here, but I don't think I can drop it that much. So, yeah, this is the map. We could buy a farm, but I want to have a big pad, big area to, uh, you know, have some things there and I don't think if I think if we smooth this out it'll be all right I think it'll be fine we'll drive up here it's kind of a big pad it cost five million dollars to build this pad yeah a little bit of money but we're gonna put the one combine here now we're probably not gonna be doing anything harvest today we're just gonna be setting up our custom crew for harvesting today and we might harvest in a live stream before this like I did yesterday so we'll hook on to the, the other headers and we're going to be doing beans first and then we'll do corn and I'm going to buy the whole map actually I probably should do that right now I'll probably buy some of it off camera but yeah we're going to harvest most of the map with beans I'm going to buy all the beans fields first and then we will buy the rest but we will take this back up there and then we have an 8970 tractor with a big grain cart 
the Elmer's grain cart because the big balzer cart you can't unload into which is kind of sad I was hoping to use it for harvest but these combines just aren't that tall so this is the second combine actually this, this is the first one and then we have second and third I was waiting for a custom crew harvest you know I've been doing a lot of them a lot of you guys like it and then also this pad would be a good thumbnail pad because you can take thumbnails on it because you can turn around like this take a thumbnail like that not necessarily like that because you got that ugly background you can take it like that but that does look kind of sweet I kind of like those combines like that they look pretty good and we'll hook on to the last header and take it up there and, but before we do that so yes, here's a big Balzer cart, 2000. We might buy some cases to run, but for now we're going to run this one and it's going to be blue. We'll buy that out and then we'll hook it up. Actually, you guys choose. Now, in the stream that I did, you guys wanted to see the, where's that, 8970 John Deere with twins. I ran that with the grain cart. And then on the Balzer cart, I ran this tractor with big floaters with a bunch of weight brackets so we ran those oh, we can do duels okay we gotta lease that and see what it looks like all right so we could be running this i don't know if we'll do duels though that's kind of overkill for all that i don't know why you'd run i suppose flotation but yeah we got that and the wagon and then we will hook onto this header, take it up there, and then buy a semi next. So you guys choose which one you want. If you want the 8970 deer, or if you want the 8R. We're going to have a deer crew, and then we're going to have a case crew. And that one will probably be on a different map. Well, it'll be on the same map. Probably same, same save game also. In fact, probably should just buy a bunch of cases too. And we do have the Lexion. I don't know if we'll run the Lexion much. We might. We might not. You never know. But we have the Semi W900. You guys chose the colors pink last time. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it pink for now. And then also we have colors for this truck. Yeah, that main color doesn't really work. But the design color is the frame. I don't know why, but blue just looks weird. Looks pretty good, actually. I don't know. Blue on blue. Black it out. Let's see what that looks. We'll do buy that for now. And then for trailers, we're probably going to run the big Super B with it blacked out. We'll go ahead and buy that. And then we'll buy the Pace Setter trailer that is black also and then we have a pink and a black combine or a pink and a black semi you can put this on the big trucks big trailers there are some tall trailers I've never seen them that tall before so yeah this is the 379 Peterbilt hook that up there pull it out now these are two separate trailers you can unhook them if you want we're gonna go ahead and park them up there in the semi category. We'll have a semi category and harvest, harvest side and planting side and all that. But we'll take this up there and then we'll get the other semi ready to go. Should be able to do, take the other semi up. Cause this one made it up pretty easily. And we can like do a demo derby up here if we wanted to. If this map gets released, we will. Let's pull it over here. Park it there. We should get a flatbed. You think you think we need a low boy? I don't know. We could get a low boy. Hook it on the old Kenworth here. So we got Kenworth, Peterbilt, and our pink. Oh, we should have put the Peterbilt pink. Could have named it Pink Peterbilt. I don't know. I kind of like this color. It's weird. Pink is a good color bad color I don't know I might do orange 
or black. We might black this one up too. But we'll roll up on the hills, crank it around the corner. Oh boy, thought I was gonna miss it there. So we're really not having too much trouble getting up that. I was kind of surprised on how easy it is to get up here. So see how much room we're taking up? We basically took up this whole entire pad. I suppose we could wedge things together and make them fine. But we do have this tractor. I'm probably going to run it with the duels. Just leave it unless you guys want the 8970. But then I will run it with those. And I'll run the 8970 with a different, with this same cart. And I'm just going to run the big floaters for now with duels. Because, I don't know, I don't really like the duels. But I like just the big floater tires. Looks sweet. I wonder if this tractor will float if we get the floaters on it. That's, that's the idea of the floater tires, so it can float. Not necessarily float on water, but float over the ground. And not hit as many homes. I think it'd ride pretty smooth, honestly. You would kind of like not fall in so many holes, but you'd also go on like dirt mound and stuff. You'd hit those, so. Here we go, wheel in, shut that off. Let's see. So we have our three combines, have our two trucks. What else do we need? I don't think these fields, like the only fields that'll take a little while, maybe in field nine. I mean, I think they'll just knock them out. I'm just gonna start buying some of them here. Let's see. So here's the map. You got this giant map, and you got all these crops. This is planted of barley. Or no. Maybe it is barley. Where's barley at? That's weird. I can't. Oh, I know why. Because I'm on fruit types 2. Wow, I didn't know they had two fruit types. Wait, what? Barley's right here. Yeah, so that field's planted of barley. The rest of the map's beans and corn. Probably could get our corn heads. Actually, I think what we should do is buy some case combines. Buy this case. Actually, we won't do it now because there could be a case mod coming out. I don't want to buy three of them and then have to sell them. So, this is the new map, the new series. Um, I will be taking everything from Sandy Bay and putting it on this map. Probably in a stream. That'll probably be the next stream to do. As I'll take everything from there, put it on here, and try to fall off this cliff. Yeah, I'm not getting back up there. So that's probably the one thing I'll do tomorrow, or start to do tomorrow, is we will do that in a stream tomorrow. Or we might start harvesting. We'll probably start harvesting in a video. Or like on the video, set up the harvest and then harvest in the stream. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And we will see you all sometime.